Okay, in this presentation we're going to look at accuracy, precision and recall and also the F measure. Now this is used, these are metrics are used in the context of evaluating binary classification models where you uh, predict either yes or no, true or false, one or zero, depending on the situation based on given categorical data. Or you, you, it's a categorical outcome, binary categorical outcome. Now, something to consider just before we get into this is the idea of hypothesis testing. So you'll hopefully be familiar with this idea of a hypothesis test where you either, you, you perform a hypothesis test and you either reject the null hypothesis or fail to reject the null hypothesis, depending on the test statistic and the critical value and so on. But sometimes the null hypothesis may be true, but if you reject it, you make a type one error. And if the null hypothesis is false, but you fail to reject it, that's called a type two error. Uh, otherwise, you're making correct conclusions. Okay, now this is the idea of something similar here in a binary classification procedure. So it's not like a hypothesis test, but the parallels between type one and type two error are helpful. Okay, now, so we either, so we'll actually look on the basis of a binary outcome and I'll call one of the outcomes negative and the other outcome positive. It doesn't really matter which, it's like success or failure from the point of view of a binomial experiment. Okay, now we either observe, we observe them to be um, positive or negative and then our model will predict an outcome that is either positive or negative. Okay, and that's the idea there. So if we correctly predict something as negative, that's a true negative. If we correctly predict something as a positive, it's a true positive. But if we fail to make correct decisions, there's two possible types, a false positive and a false negative, okay? So those are the ones we're interested in, okay? Now, so these are our key metrics, accuracy, precision, and recall. So accuracy is fairly simple to understand. It's basically how many of the overall total of cases, okay? That's our overall number of cases there. How many of them were correctly identified? So basically, the denominator here is pretty much everything. Total number of cases. And how many of them were correct? So true, posit true negatives, true positives, okay? So that's what we would, that's fairly straightforward, really. Okay, so how many were correct? But that's not always useful. So what you might also do is look at the, the precision and the recall. So the precision first off is, let's just clear the deck here. The precision is looking at the predicted outcomes. Okay, how many, these are all the, what you predicted, okay, as positive, but how many actually were positive, okay? And likewise, the recall is looking at what was observed. So we know all of the following to be positives based on our model, but we're, we're fitting our model, but we only got this many right. Okay, what's that proportion there? Uh, what a proportion of the observed positives were correctly identified as positive? Okay, and then what we can do is combine those two metrics into a single measure called the F measure. So it, that, that is calculated as two times the precision times the recall divided by the precision plus the recall. Now that is a what they call a harmonic mean of precision and recall. Okay, if you're familiar, familiar with that. Now here's some examples. There's a good bit of theory in this as to why we would use precision and recall as opposed to accuracy. But I'm actually going to sort of focus now on the calculations of this and just go through some examples here. Now in each of the following cases, we have 10,000 cases. In each of the following examples we have 10,000 cases and I'll keep that fairly consistent. Now so the accuracy is fairly quick, easy and quick to determine. We have 9,500 cases that are true negatives and 300 true positives. Okay so that's essentially that's fairly easy to tell that that is 0 0.98 percent or 0 0.98, 98 percent. That's the accuracy. Now the precision and the recall. Okay so for the point of view of the precision we have 300 correct outcomes out of 385. From the point of view of recall, we have observed 
415 cases that should be positive, but only three of them were correctly identified as positive. So that's precision and recall there. Okay, so that's 0 0.7792 and 0 0.7229. Okay, so 300 out of 300 out of 385, 300 out of 415. Those are the two values we get there. Now the F measure is essentially a single combination of both. Two times the precision times the recall divided by precision plus recall. So essentially using this number here and here and using this number here and here. Now here we multiply them, here we add them. Okay, so we get, it should work out to be 1.266 divided by 1.502, which is 50%, 0 0.50, that's our F measure. That's not our F measure. That is too small to be our F measure. Sorry, that's 0 0.75. 0 0.50 is uh, the next score. So 0 0.75. Now, moving on to part B, we have something similar here. Uh, the Again, the accuracy we can tell very quickly to be 98%. It didn't change it that much. Well, it changed numbers that much. I just sort of looked at various different scenarios here. Now, in this case, there are 240 uh, positive predictions, but only 100 are correct, okay? Whereas we actually observed in the training data what we were building our model, that 160 should have been identified as correct, but we missed 60 of, the, 60 of them, okay? So this does not look so good, okay? Now, considering that we did get, uh, our accuracy says 98%, but it's dominated by this number up here, okay? So let's look at how things work. So the accuracy is 0 0.98, just like I mentioned before. Uh, the precision is how many of the positive predictions were correct, Ten, uh, 100 out of 240, which is 41%. How many were of the uh, pr uh, po uh, observed positives were actually correctly identified? 100 out of 160. Okay, typo there, sorry, par pardon me for that, which is 62%, 0 0.6250, okay. So a bit of number crunch in there, we should get 0 0.5208 divided by 1.417, so that is 50% there, okay. So that's a bit more, like if you compare 50%, which is not impressive at all, with 0.98, 98% accuracy, you realize that the F measure is a better way of combining the two key pieces of information, the precision and recall. Okay, it's a bit more representative of what's going on and it's less influenced by the observed negatives there or the correctly, the true negatives. So we'll do two more. Um, here we have Correct observations, 9,530 and 160. That's 9,690, okay? But again, this is uh, pretty good in one respect, that we pretty much, uh, everything we uh, predict to be positive, or actually nearly everything, we have uh, 10 misclassifications, but we are pretty good at if uh, we are, are the, for the positive predictions a lot of our positive predictions predictions are actually correct but here's the problem in this case is that there's a lot of uh, positive outcomes that we're missing okay so 160 out of 170 is our precision okay but our recall is essentially 160 out of 460 okay so two a big disparity here in terms of the numbers okay so the idea of an F measure is sort of downgrades. Um, if one of these numbers is very low, it sort of penalizes the overall score heavily. That's the idea why we would use this F measure. So when we work it out, we get 0 0.6547 divided by 1.2890. And again, it's in the region of 50%, 0 0.5079, okay? I will do one more. Uh, this is just another, uh, something similar. This, in this case, the uh, we're 
catching most of the positive cases, okay, or 100 out of 135, but we're making a lot of misclassifications. We're predicting a lot of positives that actually should have been negative, okay? Uh, here, in this case, again, the accuracy is actually 98%. I'll keep that fairly consistent most of the way through. So 0 0.98 for the accuracy. So in this case, we have our precision is 30, or sorry, 100 divided by 265, which is 37.74%, 0 0.3774. Our recall is 100 divided by 135, which is 74%. And when we work that out, 2 times PR, 2 times 0 0.377, 4 times 0 0.7407, that gives us 0 0.5590. Uh, P plus R, just working that out, 1.1181. Uh, I think that actually is very close to 50% as well if we work it out in the calculator. It's not, it just actually, if I de uh, add a few more decimal places to it, it's not exactly zero, I don't think. So again, this downgrades um the overall score but like one of them's not particularly good one of them's not particularly good and one of them's not particularly bad so we get a sort of average score in that case okay let's just compare that to what we had before what was it before yeah we had 94 percent up here so if you just actually sort of realize the effect of the harmonic mean it's sort of if one is very very good but the other one's very very bad it'll still pull it down massively it's not an, it's not a geometric sorry it's not an arithmetic mean of the two anyway that's uh, accuracy precision recall and f measures so we'll leave that there that's just some examples